r slash talus from tech support episode 30 why would anyone unplug that so school tech dude here i get called up by the athletic director saying that an away team for our upcoming football the next day will have someone there wanting to use our network to live stream the game for fans back home okay kind of a pain but i can see what we have to work with Called the guy up and eventually got in contact with someone from the streaming service, whitelisted a domain on the web filter, and ensured a port was open for streaming on the firewall. Good enough right. I went on to also take a picture of the switch in the press box on the football field and I highlighted which ports, to use if live streaming, other ports were reserved for other lands. So dollar sign angr wide dude shows up to live stream, and he tests it out, works great. Mission accomplished, I'm going to grab my kid, and get some groceries, etc. On the road he calls back, and says nothing is working now. Okay great, can you reboot? He refuses. I ask him to make sure the ports are plugged in correctly, or if anything got unplugged on the switch to which he responds why, would anyone unplug, that important looking stuff? So long story short, I drive back to the school and we eventually reboot his streaming encoder and things work. Okay good. Going home, again. After the game, he unplugs everything including the power strip on his way out, and I had to go back in, and bring my gear back up the next day smh asterisk asterisk tl, doctor guy questions why anyone would want to unplug important looking network equipment, and then proceeds to unplug it at the end of his shift. We can't verify you. This happened Friday. I work for internal tech support, so we can only speak to you once we confirm your employee information. This one person calls, provides her employee number, her name, everything, but can't find her in our database. I can hear her someone in the background, saying she's been working her for 3 months and she can't access anything, so you need to fix it. I explain that I would love to assist her, but without being able to find her in the system, we cannot assist her. She thanks us for our time and amp, hangs up 2 minutes later, call comes in. It's her again, still can't find her in the system. She didn't realize she was speaking to me, so she said well the last guy couldn't find me either, but I need help. I mention that I can only help her if we can verify her account, which based on the information she provided, we can't. She hangs up again and amp, calls back immediately. All the other techs are on other calls, so I'm just lucky enough to get her a third time. As soon as she gives her number one say I just spoke to you twice within the past few minutes and we are unable to verify your information. If she is having access trouble, she would need to speak to her manager to make sure her account was set up properly. She then says well I'll keep calling until I get someone who will do their job and amp, help me. I sent out a message in our chat to watch out for this customer. No one said if she ever called back. Sorry lady, but rules are rules. If we can't verify who you are, we can't help you.